A lot of the things that we think uh, are important in schools are actually not. We're far enough into the 21st century now for people to be aware that unless things really significantly shift in education, then we're not going to solve those, those big, hairy, audacious problems that our children are going to have to face. We don't need to improve schooling, we need to change schooling. The improvement is improving a broken model. It's not fit for purpose in the 21st century. It's an industrial model of schooling that does two things terribly. It treats all students the same, and there's only one way to do the learning. <laughs> I always think about, I don't want to sit through 50 minutes of chalk and talk, and I'm sure a 13 year old certainly doesn't. If at my age, I can't do it. If we don't move away from the egg carton mass production model, we are doing the next generation of students a great disservice. Students are demanding something different. I mean, we've got to make sure that we deliver education the way students need it and that the way that students want it, not the way that we expected it uh, 10, 20 or, or 30 years ago. Parents know engagement when they see it. When the kids come home from school, bursting to tell you about the learning they've been doing, high five, you're on board. If you could build a new school from the ground up, all curriculum, all programs and systems, all buildings, what would it be? Or what could it be? What problems would you solve? What rookie errors would you avoid? What knowledge would you need? What moments would you seize? What's the role of architecture? What would it look like? <laughs>